Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I'm part of DVCom support and training team. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure Ailing T31P with the STAR PABX manually. So basically, Ailing T31P it's going to support two different lines. So which means you can configure two extensions. So the first extension I have configured through auto provision. In second extension, I'm going to configure through manually. So let's go and have a look. So before you are going to configure it, this is my laptop policy and by default I have configured the PABX with 192.168.5.150 which is slash 24 subnet mask and I have connected my phone directly to my DirectX switch and my PABX is acting as a DHCP server here. So first of all, before you are going to access, let's go and open your browser and let's access it. So open the browser. And this is my PABX which is configured with 5.150 and the default username is admin and default password is password. Then click OK. So before you are going to configure it, let's go and create the extension. So click on the settings, click on extension. So right now 501 extension is already configured as in line number 1 on T31P. Right now, I'm going to configure another extension, which is 601. Let's go and configure it. Then you can click save, then click yes. Now you can see here 601 extension has successfully configured and this extension I'm going to assign to my phone. So before I'm going to assign, I need to access the phone manually, but I need to know what's the IP address. So for that, you just go to the ellipse and click on the auto provisioning. And you can see here, Ailing T31P has picked the IP address 5.202. So you can just click here or else you can just open the new window and type this IP address. I'm going to click on this here. Now you can see here, your connection is not perfect. It's okay. Just click on advanced, then proceed. Then enter the username as admin, enter the password as admin, then click login. Then say, okay. Now you guys can see here, this is the default status page. And from here you can able to see what's the IP address, what's the firmware version of your phone. So right now I want to assign extension 601 so for that you need to go to the account and you can see here by default as i mentioned to you earlier t31p is going to support two accounts the account one is already registered with 501 so now i'm going to register account two so by default the status is disabled the line active is disabled so make it enable and what's the label so label i can give any name or number so for time being i'm going to specify the same name same extension whatever I configured it 601 is my display name register name is 601 username 601 but here the password you need to pick from your PABX you can go to the PABX and close this window and go to the extensions and from here you can see there is a 601 extension and just click on edit then you can find the password you can see here there is a registration password then just see and copy this entire password then close this window then after that you move back to configuration page then paste it here then after that the server host so the server host means the ip address of your pabx so my default ip address is 192.168.5.150 then after that you can click confirm now you can see here the phone is going to be registered successfully so right now the phone has registered successfully and if you want to see the status you just go back to the pabx close this window and click on this ellipse and click pbx monitor and you can see here the 501 and 601 both extensions are registered with the same phone so this is what how you can able to see how you can able to configure it manually and automatic so in case if you want to see how i did it automatic you can just watch my previous video and you can able to understand it so i'm going to log out from here say yes 
I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com. For support, please send us an email support at datawise.com. Thank you.